This video covers address books and address sets. An address book is a collection of addresses and address sets. It's a container for an address object and there is also a default address book called global which doesn't take the zone into consideration so you can use global address book with any zone. Um, address book entries include addresses of hosts and subnets and these addresses can be a combination of IP version 4 addresses, IP version 6 addresses, wildcard addresses or DNS names. If we type or if we log into the CLI and if we type edit security address book and let's call the address book internal internal we are now in address book hierarchy and created our address book called internal and now if we type set address let's type prod for production and give it an address 10.12.12.0 so we will give it a subnet address enter and let's put another address in there let's go for test lab and let's change the IP address to something else uh, 172 dot sixteen uh, dot one dot zero enter and now if we type top show security address book we can see our internal address book and we can see two address subnets in there which is the prod one and the test lab one also when you have too many addresses you can group them together using an address set so you can include a single address set in your security policy as opposed to lots of address books uh, these can be applied to both the source and destination field of a security policy so there is a predefined address set which is automatically created for each security zone as well and if we type set um, address If we do a question mark, we can see address set is one of the options. So address set, let's call it LAN and add the address prod to the LAN address set. And let's add the other address which is test lab. Test lab address, sorry one way around. So if we get rid of that go back and type in LAN test lab here enter and if we do top show security address book we can now see our internal address book um, it's got the production and test lab assigned to it we've also got an address set called LAN and within the address set called LAN we've got the address uh, production as well as test lab uh, inside there as well so now what we can do is if we um, just to talk about the global address book again a zone can use two address books at a time so the global address book and the address book that the zone is attached to when a security zone is not attached to any address book it automatically uses the global address book uh, when a security zone is attached to an address book the system looks up addresses from the attached address book otherwise the system looks up addresses from the uh, default global address book and the global address book is available to all security zones by default so you do not need to attach um, zones to the global address book so now to attach our address book to a security zone we will type set attach 
zone trust if we do a show we can see at the bottom it's attached to the zone trust so we've got a trust zone and this address book is attached to zone trust now um, it's a good idea to define addresses under the global zone uh, instead of applying them to individual zones because then you can reuse that address uh, object with other zones if needed so if we uh, uh, if we define an address in the global address book we would type set let's go top set security um, address book global if we do a question mark we should be able to see global 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 address clients um, let's give it let's make clients capital and let's give it the address 192.168.1.0 slash 24 enter if we now do a show security address book show security address book global we should see the global address um, inside there the subnet address for clients and that's it for this video thanks for watching